and we're off. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. So I think the last video, oh yeah, power, electric power. So yeah, I think most of you knew, didn't you? I went for the haul win. I went for the haul win. Here we are. So this is the first commute video. I'm not gonna lie, I have been to and from work, uh, my Stratford office once, I think on this. Uh, so it's not officially the first commute video but it's the first commute I've recorded in fact I did actually record that as well but a multitude of reasons it didn't make it to edit so yeah the Hawin EK3 was the preferred option I don't think I made it very clear um, during the test rides that the reason I've picked this one is because of the battery setup I need to be able to take it out and charge it at work um, I got to work with Oh, we're gonna make these lights. We never make these lights. We are making the light. Whoa, just, just. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. So yeah, uh, I, I rode very, very conservatively last week to the Stratford office and I got there with 50, oh, go on, mate. 54% uh, battery. So obviously the same conservatism on the way home for want of a better phrase, obviously would have left me with 8% battery. <clears throat> and I don't know if that's a safe level to drain it to. So the day I got it, I had to ride it with basically the battery sort of instruction said, drain it as low as you can really on your first charge. So I had to ride it around and the battery light came on at, I think, was it 14%? So that's probably like a, the equivalent of a low fuel light. So yeah, I think I got it down to about maybe 12 13 percent sort of bottled it a little bit and went and put it on charge so yeah i don't know i mean you know if push came to shove you could probably get home on you know eight percent as long as you got home you know by eight percent or whatever you know what i mean anyway so i need to be able to take it out and charge it and all the other bikes all had they've got dual battery so i think they're more designed to have you charge charge them in the bike oh, you can charge this one in the bike i, I do that at home but it would have been a faff having to take two batteries out and making sure they're charged at the same, you've got to balance them. And yeah, I don't think I made that very clear in the test ride videos, but that's a big reason why I chose this one. I just like the look of this one. I think this one looked better. The riding uh, position is very similar to the Vespa. In fact, the whole bike's very similar to the Vespa. So that was, yeah, another, another big reason. I've got my clickers back. Well chuffed, well chuffed. So yeah, we could. I, I was going to maybe get off and give you a bit of a walk aroundy, but I don't know if there'll be anywhere suitable. If there is on the way home, we can jump off, but maybe we can save that for another day. Maybe we can go back up to Richmond Park and do go to the spot where I did the old uh, the worst walk around ever video. In terms of sort of power, you know, getting through traffic and whatnot, it's it's fine, and it's got cruise control. So I can just, bosh, pop that on. Haven't got to worry about the speed limit as long as I set the cruise control at the speed limit. Got the speed. This is the current. So this is basically my, oh, my rev counter. So you see that going, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the GoPro. That's how much, uh, obviously, current I'm drawing from the battery. So the idea is to keep that as low as possible to extend your range. You've got like a green, blue, amber and red light around the dash and that indicates again i think that indicates the sort of draw current draw right what are these cyclists doing oh i've got dust in my eyes so uh yeah green i'll, sh I'll try and show you when the, the lights change color so that's the yeah the speed the amp draw that's what mode it's in so it's got three modes mode one is well, I, I don't think i've even used mode one i use that just to kind of turn it around in the garden mode two is okay so if I put it in two now, you'll see when I pull away, it doesn't, it doesn't sort of give you the, the power as much in one go. It's sort of a bit more incremental, which again, I think is more of a power safe thing. Um, so that's fine. I've used that quite a bit um, when I'm in town. It's more than sufficient. It helps me keep the battery, battery charge a bit higher. And that is, talking about the battery charge, that's the battery charge. So here you go, look. 
I mean, that's all right. We're up to 20 miles an hour already. Um, so that's my charge, 86%. Uh, that's current trip. So we've done five and a half miles and total on the bike is 114. Uh, and that's it. That's all we get. But yeah, in terms of in terms of the, the power delivery, the torque, or well, whatever that you know, whatever all that gubbins is about, it's abs- absolutely fine in town. I'm kind of debating which way to go home. I've been avoiding the A3 on the way home because it kills the battery at 50 miles an hour for what's well, probably about three or four miles. Absolutely canes the battery, but um, I've got more than enough to get home, so I might go that way this time. See, this is where you need mode three, just to give you a little bit of, there you go, just to get past that car. Mode two would have struggled there. It would have been a lot, the delivery would have been a lot more padded. It's probably a good word. You know what I mean. All my floor mats come loose. I got a, uh, hold on a minute, is that going to be screwed down? I got the optional extra Horwin floor mat. Hold on. Go on, boy. Ah, should have closed my visor. Cyclists don't do it. Go on, mate. And they're a bit like, oh, oh, hello. Who are you? Whoa. C Max was brave. There is an option of a second battery. It's expensive, but I could get a second battery, and then um, range is just no issue at all. That's you're, you're looking at sort of 80 miles, 85 miles. Yeah, without needing to charge with another battery. Maybe if they come down in price a little bit. But as long as my charging options remain as they are now, range is just not, it's just not an issue. I, d- I tell you what, the one thing it doesn't have that I wished, I wished it had that would be a game changer is regenerative braking. I don't think it seems to be a thing. There's a guy walking through here. No, he's not. On scooters, sort of stroke or mopeds at the moment, electric mopeds, the apparently the Segway that I was potentially looking at I think did have it that would have I mean it wasn't a big enough bonus for for it to outweigh the battery gubbins but yeah regenerative or it's not really regenerative braking it's just you know when you when you come off the throttle you get a brake so you're not on the brakes as much you're just using the engine to uh to slow down but you get the the battery regeneration and going through town for me that would be massive I mean I've I reckon I'll be looking at least another five, ten percent on my battery. But yeah, early early signs are probably yeah, hopefully made the right choice. Definitely, definitely. Um, like I say, as long as the charge situation stays as it is, yeah, it's great. It's just ten times better to ride than the big bike in town. I'm keeping hold of that for now. I'm keeping hold of it for now, just as a. I, th- I think it's a sensible option just in case things go belly up or you know this is all very new at the moment well, that school bus has stitched everyone up how's that Audi gone might be able to get through here actually might be able to do a little bit of a cheeky oh I f- absolutely f***ed myself here oh I might be able to redeem myself get in front of this uh, this guy oh f- I'm going to get wet this is bad this was not meant to happen not meant to rain I'll take the bus lane oh, it's not worth me getting my bloody waterproofs out now either because I'm nearly kind of a sort of home oh we're right on the edge of it come on come on come on so yeah this is where it usually clears out you get a lot of people turning right going up to i don't know where where does that go up to king kingston is it where does that go i never even considered that right what are we 58 percent. so let's see how much this sucks out of the battery we'll do it to tolworth so it's 15.2 miles oh god here comes the rain as well Right, what are we on? 44, 20 miles. So it's nearly five miles. Uh, and what are we on? 58, 48, 14%. So 14% for five miles. That's not terrible, I don't think. I mean, it's not good. 40%, wow. That's the most... Uh, that as well. There's a, I don't know if you can see these dots here. You to, it's all keyless I mean you can have a key as well but it's you know it's part of the feature is a keyless so as long as I've got the fob on me um, I can swipe my finger across and that starts the bike or, or turns the bike on and then swipe the other way and it turns it all off so there we go people there we go the first commute on the Horwin so there we go across London uses 60 
64% battery, well 65, call it 65 I said, 65% battery. So uh, yeah, hopefully we see a few more of those. If everything goes to plan, should all be good. Thank you, uh, thank you for joining me. See you next time.